Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. My name is Roger Hat and welcome back to another video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have a different kind of video to my normal videos on my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a tutorial. This tutorial is how I edit my TikTok content, I guess. I mean, a lot of people have been requesting this and a lot of people have been DMing me saying, oh, how do you do this for TikTok? How do you do this for TikTok? I use a software called Premiere Pro. And I know what a lot of you guys thinking. Oh, but Premiere Pro is on the computer. Yeah, I don't use a phone for video editing because that ain't it, chief. Like, I don't know why people still use a phone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it is what it is. People have their preferences. You know what I mean? I personally use Premiere Pro. So I'm going to jump straight into it. And I'm going to show you guys how I do my titles, how I do the crop based thing that I do in my video, in my TikToks. Let's just jump straight into it if you guys have never used premiere pro i'm going to teach you guys what i do with a project with a sequence and so on and so forth so obviously title this like tiktok things i don't know i'm just going to do that obviously you don't need to sort anything out here so just press ok what i suggest you guys to do obviously this is going to be a different layout to what you guys have on screen click on the effects tab at the top i don't know where it is on screen but it should be at the top and then it should be like a right side and it, on the left side it should be completely different to the right side and so forth there should be like illumination colors or whatever it's called i don't even know remove everything but the effects control on the left side and the media browser of course and the project stuff so so before we start what we're trying to do is we're going to achieve something like this we're going to achieve something like this as you can see it's already in a phone format to, in order to get this format of the phone size Go to sequence, sequence settings, and change this to 1080 and change this to 1920, and obviously 60 FPS. How I this is how I do my normal video editing. So what I do is I do voiceover recording, input the thing, and be like, "There is no, there way, is no way I hit that. I hit that. I there's the audio for the thing. So once you record it, you put it into the freaking Premiere Pro like this or whatever software you put. Just enable, just drag it, and drop it in. So as you can see, the sequence has now changed. So once again, you gotta go back to here, change it to 1080p, 1080 by 1920, and press OK. So now it's in like this format. Obviously, it's the phone format. So now what you want to do is obviously find the clip and be like this. So there we go. I'm gonna chop all the crap up, uh, other stuff out. So you wanna you wanna make sure like this is good, right? So this is what I do. So I unlink them. I unlock this both of them. And I click on just the video click and control C, control C, control V twice. Now you may be wondering why control V twice. You'll see. So this one here is just the background. So double click on the thing dub and zoom it into the max. All right. Zoom it to the phone screen. Type in Gaussian blur or Gaussian or whatever it's called and click that. Then it will come up with the uh, effects controls and blurriness now zoom that to the max now same thing applies here as you can see i well you want to make sure that your webcam's not showing because obviously people don't want to see that you want to make sure it is just about fine and you can see the blurry background and so forth right so as you can see i've done that there so now obviously it's looking like this now oh my god the third one is more important than obviously the rest because obviously you want to make sure you have your webcam whatever like your webcam like reaction and so forth right so what you can do is go click on the thing double click on the video after you've dragged it put it in here keep dragging it like keep creep zooming it in as you can see there's me over here as you can see there's opacity and there's little three masks right what you want to do is click on one of them and then as you can see there's this little thing over here right and look, as you can see, it's fading in and out. So I make it smaller. I make it like that. Make it into a circle. Now, obviously, as you can see, it's down like that. So now if I wanted to move it, I double click on it. Or you click on motion up here. Obviously, you can't see it. But you click on motion on your screen. And then you could go, you could make it smaller. Obviously, you don't really want to. And then you can make it big. So now this is how the video is going to play. Oh my god. So now what I do is I add the, add the text and whatever to draw the flipping audience in. You know what I mean? So what I do is I cut this part. I cut this part and then I 
drag it here, right? So now it's like that, right? So it's now an, it's it's a completely separate thing, right? So what I do here now is, as you can see, it's the same layout, right? It's the same video, but it's a, it's the start of the same video, right? So basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to click on Gaussian blur, right click the Gaussian blur in the effects control. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it, and then you control V on both of the thing. <coughs> Bless me, Alhamdulillah. So now, as you can see, it's now blurred. This is where now I obviously get the te text, sorry, the text. So I do control T, and as you can see, there's a new little text text layer. So what I do here is there's a drop down menu next to text layer, right? And it says, it says whatever, right? It says the source text. Obviously, if it, 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 it will take some time to load because it depends on how many fonts you have. So obviously, it's loaded all my thing. I tend to use Burbank Big Contents, as you can see, it's like that, and I'd be like, "There is no, no, no way, way." Okay, so now, as you can see, it's right here. So let me just write there. There's many ways you can make this text flashy. It just in Premiere Pro. Let me just show you. So you go down here, you go to Shadow. Now, as you can see, it done little pop thing. So I put this to minus 61, right? Minus 61, put this to around, as you can see, it's got a little distance thing going on. Then I make the spread. Obviously, as you can see, it's it's gray shadow. So you want to make sure it's black. And as you can see, look at that. It's, 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 it's moving a bit different, you know what I mean? You can change it depending on where you want it to be. As you can see, look, the shadow will move wherever it go. So in my opinion, that looks around perfect. And there you go. That's how you make the thing. So, so now how I sync it up is I listen to myself. There is, there is, and I cut every time I hear a word. No, way. no, there's no, no, uh, wait, hang on. there is, so I cut that. There is, there it is, there is, there it is, mate. There is, there is no way, no way, there is no. So I hit that there. There we go. And there. There is separate. This is a separate one to this one. So what you want to do is obviously find whatever you said. There, there is, is no way. I. There is. There is. There is no way. No way. So you cut it again, put it up, and then drag it out. So now what you want to do? There is. There is. As you can see, there is. There is. Then you bring out no again. Hold control and make it short. It's in the middle. As you can see, there's a, there's another there. So put way. You double click on the word and then there you go. There is no way. I and then once again, that's basics of how I do my TikToks. And obviously, I hope you guys have learned quite a bit. Obviously, you guys could do it. Replicate it yourself. Obviously how i'm doing it you guys could do it side by side let me know if you guys want a part two to like say for example like if you use a different program let me know down below in the comments i'm here to help dms are always open twitter instagram uh tiktok even i think that's about it for the video i'm not too sure in the video i do apologize this is my first time doing a tutorial in like five six years so yeah uh leave me alone please leave me alone all right but yeah if you guys want a part two let me know if you guys want me to do it on a different pro software let me know and yeah it's been Borgia. keep smiling be self stay awesome subscribe for new because it's free I'll catch you guys on my next video